Morning. Oh, afternoon. Right, today. What are we doing? Today we are upstairs. Uh, with the uh, with the railway. Basically to show you um, where that big uh, station is going to go. Now I knew I would have to extend, I'd already got plans to extend the um, the baseboard in one direction, that direction basically, oh, that way, uh, in order to uh, make some sidings or do something with it. Okay, I already decided that. What I hadn't decided was that I needed another bit, <laughs> triangular looking, kind of uh, four-sided triangle thing. Yeah, yeah. Quite easy to make. Uh, so, I brought it upstairs just to have a look. Now I, I did do another, I think it's three or maybe even four videos downstairs on completing the build of the uh, station. But to be honest with you, I, I, I've deleted them. I mean, um, that was just waffle, like it usually is. But uh, you'll see the completed thing here. It's more important than anyone to see it in its it's more interesting, not more important, more interesting isn't it? to see it in its uh, proper place and to see what we've bought in order to be able to put it in, <laughs> in its proper place. And we bought uh, a load of stuff the other day from, uh, uh, from, from the UK and uh, well you'll see. You'll see. Some of the bits we need for this so i'll just uh, pass you on to that little video if i can do that you can watch that for a couple of minutes and then you'll come up and see why i needed the bits that i bought and uh, what i'm going to do with them all right so roll vt i think it is isn't it uh do something anyway all right i'll be back up here in a minute uh, amongst the chaos uh, right, we've got another box here. Uh, a big box this time. Yeah, big box. Hattons. Uh, ordered some stuff from Hattons uh, in order to be able to finish off basically the uh, the station areas. And as there was a few more bits and pieces uh, online, uh, they charge deliveries charged by the weight. So if you know what the weight is, if you can go up to that weight, you're only paying the same. Delivery, you know, sort of like maybe up to a kilo or up to 500, whatever it is, it's different prices, okay? So if you just, if they charge you up to a kilo, you know, and you've got the opportunity, you're only at uh, 800 grams or, um, I'll use a bit uh, metric in it, <laughs> well, you might as well just add something in there just to make it up to just under the kilo. You pay the same price. So it's a big box ish. And uh, let's, we'll have a look. We'll have a look and see what we got. That's a list of the stuff which I ordered. That's the uh, it's February now. That's the Christmas. That's the Christmas edition uh, of the bestsellers brochure. It's always nice to look through, isn't it? Anyway, okay. So uh, we'll check off what we've got. Right. The first thing I bought was that once I'd got the uh, station upstairs on the track, I realised I was fairly short, short of length really, to put it in. All right, and I wanted at least three lines going into the station and a fourth line on the outside, and then maybe some more uh, lines, okay. And the only way you can, I would do that anyway normally, is just put a point on that, you know. So if you start off with one line and you put a point on it, you don't end up with, you know, an ordinary point like that. You don't end up with three lines. You just end up with two lines, all right? So if you want three lines, you've got to put another point on. Uh, four lines, you've got to put another point on, etc., etc., etc. And if you're using medium-length points like I usually do, you've got a yard's worth of points before you get sufficient enough number of lines off, okay? So I thought that I'd... Uh, throw the boat out 
Is that the expression? I don't know. And buy one of those. All right. So from one line to three, straight away. It ain't cheap. But it saves a lot of time. All right. So it's a medium radius, three-way turnout, insule frog, because that's, you know, with the DC I use. And whilst I was there, I thought I'd buy a short one, a small radius, Y turnout, okay. So it goes in both directions. The only reason I bought that is because at the time, uh, all, the, all the medium range uh, points and all the small uh, radius points, there they were all out of stock. So there's nothing wrong with that. That was in stock. So that's what I wanted. So that's a short one, okay. I think that just comes in one size, to be honest with you. I don't think you can shorten that much. Otherwise, it's going to be a bit of a clutter, isn't it? Uh, so that looks interesting, that. To make that. But, as I say, it ain't cheap. But it cuts down on the, on the length uh, that you're actually um, have to uh, put on there. Right. So what's this? That's nice. Okay. It's, uh, it looks pretty big to me, but it's 176. So that's an O level, uh, O level, O O gauge uh, bus. Okay, quite nice. And as we've got a canal, I thought we'd buy a an O O gauge, O O gauge, uh, British Waterways uh, van. What would that be? 1950s, I think, probably, something like that. Somewhere around there. Nice. Like that. Pre-owned, pre-owned. Always pre-owned, of course. The only thing that isn't pre-owned is a bag of coal. Big bag of fluffy stuff, okay. Uh, grass, um, pico grass, dangerous if swallowed, <laughs> yeah, I think it would be, autumn grass, two millimetre static, okay, now, I've got a puffer bottle, and I found that that, in a puffer bottle, don't look too bad, two mil, I, th I think you couldn't put four mil on with it, a puffer bottle, but two mil, you're alright there, with that, so I was quite happy with that, uh, Oh, I forgot. Yeah, I ordered some platform seats. They're quite nice. Uh, green ones. So they actually could go on the platform, couldn't they? Ordered a Lima. Pre-owned uh, goods wagon. That's yeah, quite nice. Quite nice. Like that. Uh, well, I could have sworn I ordered something else there. Maybe I did. Oh, right, a lot of the. Uh, it's a bit better than the last parcel I got. I had a potato in it. Uh, right. Oh, I'm quite happy with that. Over the moon. Right, well, we've got some interesting stuff in that box, didn't we? As you can see, it is still chaos up here. OK. Uh, we're doing a little bit more with the, uh, uh, the canal sidings. OK. Got the, uh, got the house. Where are we? House, got the wrong glasses on to see that. Uh, there'll be some coal sheds and uh, this, that, and the other there. Okay, and um, ah, right, okay, anyway. Oh, major crash, major crash. Don't know why that is. 
we'll go over and sort that one out and uh, and we'll carry on with the uh, That really does need sorting out, it's absolutely in a twist. So, huh. right, the station. Uh, that's about it, isn't it? It's about there, okay. Uh, as you can see, it's sitting on a kind of like a, an extension bit from there to, to there. And it's got the three platforms. It's only just put there at the moment. I haven't, uh, I haven't finished uh, placing it exactly where I want it. But it'll be there or thereabouts. And then we've got the. Uh, what have we got? We have got a crossover. If you can see that, and a point there both of which will feed the mainline station. Right, the point is the uh, on the outside line, okay, on the, well, I suppose you call it the main line, there's, there's no real main line, and then the crossover, uh, it is actually a crossover rather than a, what do they call that, a double slip or something? I've got a, one of those crossovers with, um, yeah, <laughs> that you can change the direction. This one you can't, it's just a crossover. So this one uh, can feed from all the other lines, okay, into the uh, mainline station or the sidings, which will be in that general direction. All right. So if we zoom out of it, what we got in that uh, bundle box, in the box that we bought, of course, was was this one here, wasn't it? What's that? That's the three-way point, okay? So that will sit somewhere. Uh, right, let's see if I can get to it. It'll sit, that's a rather long point, isn't it? That one, that one, that one. That'll sit somewhere like that, okay? So that'll feed two lines and one line into the station, all right? And then we've got the uh, the point there which will feed the uh, other side of the platform. So that'll, that'll be the three that go actually into the mainline station. Okay, so that'll be the three that'll fit <coughs> off this three-way point. One, two, and a third that goes in there. All right, so off that'll come off the point off the crossover will come and we'll put that point on and then we'll have a line that comes down on this side of the uh, uh, platform and it'll have a branch off to a, another uh, just stationary uh, goods or perhaps a, a, a coach siding or something like that okay so it'll be pretty crammed, pretty crowded, but it's not a through station. It's it, you know, it, don't worry too much about it. It, it. it looks all right for me. I quite enjoyed building it. Uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it's finished. The bits which uh, I'm not going to bother showing you how to build are obviously the platforms because uh, they're very straightforward, and the uh, bit that the um, uh, station main building that's the bit on the left as you're looking at the uh, as you're looking at the thing okay so that bit on the left there that's sitting on a <clears throat> a plinth as it were with steps on it which are the other side of the building they're uh, oop, they're there the other side of this one front of it um that's the same height, obviously, as the uh, station itself. Um, so the whole thing sits on station and plinth. On the other side of the uh, station here, on on the other side, we're going to have a big wall, okay, along, 
wrong there. And the, there's going to be a road at the top of the wall height, so it's going to be at a, at a higher. <coughs> it's going to be higher than the uh, than the normal level road. So um, that then behind that will have the uh, high street, which we're in the middle of building. Well, in actual fact, I've started. Uh, I've done about four buildings. I'll put those up for you uh, to see how I've done that. I quite like those buildings. There's uh, we got a butcher's shop and a, a bookshop, a cafe. Well, it, it, there's all sorts of different things. Hundreds of different things you can put on. So we'll put those at the back there, and uh, then behind those we'll have some kind of backdrop. Yeah, back scene with trees and what have yous on it. Uh, so that would be nice. Uh, that's about it. Now, uh, one of the reasons, as I said earlier, uh, that I uh, have, uh, I'm not going to show any more building of the uh, uh, of the main platform. Uh, one, I think it's almost finished, and you can take it from there. Two, I have ready to upload a load of other stuff of building as well. And you can only have too much building, can't you? I mean, I went to sleep during the last video. So uh, we need to um, we need to look at uh, short sharp bursts and the uh, what have we got? We I tell you what I built the other day, which I thought was rather nice. Was uh, I've showed you this one before, haven't I? The coal office. Yeah, I've shown you that. I like that. Scale scenes, it's a freebie and it's a good one to start with. It shows you the method that's used more or less all the time uh, to build these things. It's one, uh, one little bit of uh, cardboard. I, I used the card which I had left over from the, uh, from the main building. I didn't use much of it, so I mean, uh, <laughs> there's quite a bit left, and I've been building the, as I say, the high street with the rest of it, the cutoffs, as it were, offcuts. Um, so, what I've done is I've made two videos of the uh, uh, coal office. Pop up to uh, scale scenes. It's a free download. Uh, no obligation to 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 buy anything. I think you'll enjoy building it. It's very quick. And as I say, it's, uh, I think, quite authentic. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to stop the old video. All right, I'm going to have a play. First off, I'm going to see what uh, on earth the uh, that hassle was with the uh, with the trains uh, I think the old coaches have come off there a bit worse haven't they for where I got some nice uh, engines there just waiting to get out um, so anyway I'll love you and leave you and uh, when we get a little bit more done I'll I'll get back to you perhaps when I've done the uh, than the lines into the station. That would be nice, wouldn't it? All right, bye for now. Look after yourselves, eh? Cheerio.